Porsche's chief test engineer and, of course, also responsible for the chassis units. What makes Porsche's chassis so much better? Have you got a lot of secret tricks? We know a few tricks, of course, but that's not the decisive thing, because nowadays other car makers have their tricks too. There aren't any big secrets anymore. Well then, what makes you better? The thing that really counts is probably that we build those tricks into our cars. It makes them a little more expensive, but their chassis units are better. We think that there are other things that count too. All these body parts of high-grade sheet steel are hot galvanized. That means that rust, the most dangerous enemy of bodywork, has as good as no chance at all. All car makers are familiar with the advantages of hot galvanizing. But apart from the fact that it takes a long time to develop the right processes for making the sheet steel for bodywork, you also need a new technology for working the sheet. All that is not only expensive, but also calls for the best engineers and technicians. For instance, the welding of hot galvanized body parts cannot be automated. For all these reasons, people don't usually work that way to the extent we do. But the fact that something is unusual for others has never stopped Porsche. If hot galvanizing gives maximum protection against rust, but the necessary welding can't be automated, we just do it by hand. For anybody who buys a Porsche, that means a seven-year warranty covering rusting through of any part of the body. You can't get that anywhere else. By the way, this untreated Porsche body has survived this open-air, all-weather test for six years without any signs of rust. Are there any special secrets here in the paint shop? No, none at all, really. Actually, our only aim is to produce a good paint finish, and that involves a few difficulties, of course, due to our hot galvanized sheet. It takes a good bit of effort and expense to put a finish on hot galvanized sheet steel. How many operations are needed for the paint job? About 27 operations, and all of them specially adapted to the structure of the hot galvanized sheet. Paint protects zinc and zinc protects steels. So there's really no secret about total rust protection if you take the necessary trouble. Pardon me, we're from Porsche in Germany. No, oh, then you can speak German to me. Why do you drive a Porsche? Because it's a grand car, <laughs> except for the ashtray. Why do you like it, Porsche, Jennifer? Or do you like Porsche? I love Porsches. I like the noise they make and they go fast. The noise? That's <laughs> Um, occasionally, I suppose I shouldn't, but occasionally I do give it a bit of a burst, particularly when my young son is with me, he enjoys that. Why do you have three Porsches for two people? Because it's a love affair. It's a love affair. Well, uh, it's the same with me too, it's a love affair. Uh -huh, we, we can't bear to part with either one, any of the three. <laughs> because it's the best car in the world. The best car made today. Uh, when I was first craving a Porsche, the, the 928 wasn't even conceived, uh, possibly. And uh, when it came around, I was driving the 911s, and then I got into the 928. And not only was it uh, beautiful and technically possibly the best car. I'm a glass sculptor. 
and I'm used to exclusive design. And if I had to reduce everything to a common denominator for a car, I'd say, for me, a car has to be exclusive. It's got to look good. It's got to have good lines because that's connected with my own design work. It's got to be economical. Everything simply has to fit together. So for me, there's only one car, the Porsche. Have you any other sort of emotional relationship to the car? Well, not really, because for me, I'd say a car is a means of transport. I wouldn't want a car to show off or anything like that. That's not my style. But I just like good styling. And it simply has to be... The car has to be reliable. However varied people's reasons may be for driving a Porsche, you always find sportsmanlike individualism combined with very practical considerations. I guess it's a combination of both performance and reliability. I guess all I can say is that I've owned them for the last nine years. Yes. And I've, I guess I've owned 15 of them over that period. Oh, really? Yeah. And I've never been disappointed. It satisfies my needs. <laughs> That's <laughs> difficult. I've now got my third one. I had a 924, then a turbo, and now the SC. And the next one I want is the big turbo. La mia scelta è caduta sulla Porsche perché la trovo una macchina che pur essendo una macchina veloce, una macchina sportiva, una macchina di prestigio. I decided on Porsche because I think it's a fast and sporty car and a car with prestige. It's a car you can always use whatever job or profession you have. It's not so extravagant as maybe a Ferrari, a Lamborghini or a Maserati can be. As far as maintenance is concerned, it performs, even when it's cold. I mean, it's a car that, even when it's cold, it doesn't cause any problems and always runs well. 